Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ben and I'm a photographer and videographer based in North Wales. You may have seen a video that I did last week or the week before, all about the accessories I've added so far to my Fujifilm X100V. So that video has not been live for very long, but already most people in the comments are mentioning the filter hood that I used. So I thought it might be worth doing its own separate video because I absolutely love it. I think it's a great bit of design. But even when I was doing my own research, trying to find the best solution for weather sealing, a hood and the filter, even I only came across one video about this product. So yeah, let's go for it. So to start off, we'll explain a little bit. If you've picked up the X100V, you may have noticed that one of Fujifilm's claims is that it's weather sealed. It's the first in the X100 line that has weather sealing, but that is only if you add an adapter to it. So basically, the whole thing is weather sealed except for the actual lens mechanism. And as you might be able to see, when it focuses, it does move around, which means that you can't just stick a filter on there upside down because the actual lens will be bumping into it, possibly damaging the lens, as well as limiting its focus range. Now, Fujifilm do offer their own solution. Their weather sealing kit gives you an adapter ring to replace the original ring on the front of the lens, and then a filter on top of that. That costs a hundred pound. There's also a company called Square Hood, who mainly make hoods, that's what they're most famous for, but they also have an adapter solution. That costs 70 euros. There's the standard JJC options, which can cost anywhere between 15 and 30 pound on Amazon. I'm sure they're a great company. I've used them before for different lenses, but I hate the look of them. I'm not a big fan at all. Then there's also another company called ha Haug, Haug, Haug. They also make hoods mainly, but I think they do also have their own adapter ring as well. More similar to JJC really. And then we have Nissi. So yeah, this filter hood, it's an all-in-one solution. I could find just one video on YouTube and I'm very glad that I did find that video, but for a lot of people, they will never see that video. So that's why I'm making this one. So in the box, the filter comes in a little case, which is nice and tough. Throw that in your bag if you're not using it. Open her up and there, she is. So as you can see, it is a UV filter on there, and then it also acts as a hood. So once you've taken the original ring off the front, it just screws on, just like that. It looks great, it really matches the chrome of the camera. Obviously it comes in black as well, if you've got a black camera. And my absolute favorite bit about this filter hood is that you still get the original lens cap right on the front of it. How did nobody else manage to do that? Most of the others, whether it's either the JJC's or the really expensive square hoods, none of them actually allow you to use the original lens cap on the front, which is a total oversight in my opinion. Most of them just come with a little black flap which you sort of push into the front of the hood which you're guaranteed to lose. I'm pretty sure they actually sell spare flaps on the website because they know that people are going to lose them. But yeah, with this one, it looks really no different to the original design. You're still using the original lens hood, which I think obviously looks really good on the original camera. In terms of weather sealing, I did reach out to Nissi and they've said that it will certainly add to sort of sea spray and dust protection. They're not giving any guarantees in terms of weather sealing, but you're not gonna be using this on a diving expedition or something, I hope. And I'm pretty confident for the most part, this is gonna do a great job. It is a nice tight fit when you're screwing it on, so I can't really see any water getting in there. Just don't submerge it. Now, generally speaking, I don't use UV filters. I'm more of the opinion that if you're going to spend a grand or more on a nice lens then putting a cheap piece of glass in front of those optics is sort of defying the point a little bit. 
But in the case of Nissi, they do actually use lens grade optics to make their filters. So I'm far happier using this compared to a cheap Amazon thing. And in terms of price, this thing only costs £32 here in the UK, which is less than half the price of the square hood. And in my opinion, it looks better. Obviously that's subjective. It's a far better design. And the fact that I can use an actual proper lens cap still, that seals the deal for me. So yeah, if you're in the market for a hood, UV filter, or just weather sealing for your X100, give this one a go. I'm very happy with it. It's cheaper than the other options. In my opinion, it looks far better. The color actually matches really well. It's very small, especially with the lens cap on. You wouldn't even know there was anything special going on there. So yeah, all around a great piece of engineering, I think, and I'm very happy with it. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you appreciate this video and this might just be the very product you're looking for. I do hope this reaches quite a wide audience. I know the X100 is a fantastic system and a very, very popular system. And I'm sure that this filter hood would make a lot of people very happy. So if you want to see more videos on the X100, please do consider hitting subscribe down below. Do give it a like if you liked it, share it among your other X100 shooters. I'm sure they'd appreciate seeing this as well. Do leave a comment down below if you've got any thoughts or suggestions or anything like that. And otherwise, until the next one, be good, stay safe, get shooting, and I'll see you in the next video.